back now. CMPD giving us an update about the five year old shot and killed in North Charlotte. Let's listen in. Everybody gets a shot. This apartment building right here this morning. There was a five year old girl who got up and had breakfast and played. And now that five year old girl is not with us anymore. And, and I don't have a good explanation. I know when I finish with my briefing, you're going to have questions and why and who and what. And what I can tell you is this, that none of that matters in the sense that regardless of what caused it, there's a five-year-old little girl who's not alive right now. And I know that you have viewers and readers that are going to look at this and then they're going to flip over to their nightly news show or a, a reruns of something and say, that's too bad. No, it's a five-year-old girl who was alive this morning and is not alive now. So what we know is, is we got a couple 911 calls approximately 9.30 this evening. Uh, we had two family members that were inside 14 and 15 years old when the little girl was shot. The how, I'm not going to speculate. That's why I have homicide detectives and crime scene investigators and patrol officers that are working the scene, that are speaking with people who are present, that are currently canvassing the apartment complex to talk to neighbors who were outside, who were inside their apartments, who heard and or saw things. And I plug every time, and I'll do it again. If you know something and would like to talk to a homicide detective, you can call 432 TIPS and talk to a homicide detective. If you have information and would like to remain anonymous, you can call Crime Stoppers at 334-1600. And sometimes this gets paraphrased with the police are pleading for people to help. No, I'm not pleading for anything. I'm asking for people's cooperation. I'm asking for people to participate in the investigation and the closure that I would like to be able to provide to the family members and to the community as a whole. But I've gotten to the point where I'm tired of coming in front of you, and this is the fourth homicide scene I've been to this week, and, and asking for people to care. So I can talk to them blue in the face, and I can ask you guys in every scene that I go to, and ladies, I mean that in a gender non-specific way. But until the community cares, nothing's gonna change. So I've spent a lot of my summer marching around with various individuals on the west side, all over Uptown, in South End who have various and sundry grievances about things that are happening in our community and the country as a whole. I have, as of yet this week, and I don't hear about everything, so maybe I missed it on your Twitter feed or maybe I didn't see it on your news page, but I have not yet seen anybody who has communicated their intent to protest, march, or picket about anybody who's lost their life this week. So I am telling you now that there's a five-year-old girl who is deceased who is alive this morning. Regardless of what your worldview is, this should cause you to be sick to your stomach. And I can't say anything that's going to make that happen. Either, either you have a visceral response or you don't have a visceral response. But if you don't have an emotional response about a five-year-old little girl who was shot in the neck and is now deceased, then I can't impart that humanity upon you. And you either need to talk to your priest or your pastor or a friend or somebody who can, can help you get in touch with that part of you. But I, I need everybody in Charlotte to you're listening to a live news conference now. CMPD giving us an update about a five-year-old little girl who was shot in the neck uh, in North Charlotte. This is in the Elgiewood neighborhood, uh, visibly uh, and uh, obviously frustrated with the public, asking for cooperation, leading to more details. He says he won't speculate uh, on the cause, but says that people should come forward, also making references to other recent homicides in the city and calling for the public uh, to have outrage and to have cooperation with their investigations. Of course, we'll continue to watch this and we'll pass along new information uh, in our morning newscast beginning at 4.30.